Symbolism is part and parcel of aristocratic life. And for the von Hasenbergs, the annual medieval fair was a crucial showpiece. According to Lily, it symbolised the family's time on connection to the town. So, needless to say, we all had to get involved. Some of us more than others. Ha! 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 Uh, oh, hit! Are you right, Baron? Just a flesh for you, Marcus. You'll have to do better than this or you'll be toast. Tomorrow, I have to defend the town from barbarian hordes, display gallantry in the street, and rescue a damsel in distress. Just another day at the office, really. Best out of five, then? Okay, so the early signs aren't looking good. A bit more practice, though, and I'm sure I'll get the hang of it. And if I do die, at least it'll be for a good cause. This year, all the takings go to the fire brigade. Great idea. Me will love you more than ever. Sam, please. It's the Baron. I'm thinking purely about what's best for the town. Oh, of course. And the best part is, the townspeople do all the work. We just turn up in our costumes and look the part. While Baron Ben defends our honour. Here are our costumes. Cool. Oh, how beautiful is this? It's a copy of the dress worn by Baroness Beatrice von Hasenburg to the court of Frederick II. Is it me? You couldn't possibly wear that dress in the stocks. I'm in the stocks. The man who usually does it has come down with the flu, and everyone else is busy, right? Right. Very. So I volunteered you. This is your outfit. Great. It'll be fun, and the whole town will think you're a real sport. I'm so glad. Don't worry, you'll be able to dress up at the medieval party on Saturday night. Party? There's a party on Saturday night? And traditionally, all the local damsels dress up in their finest gowns. I know a damsel who'd be perfect for that dress on Saturday night. As to Ben. Hello? Oh, sorry. Oh. Oh. Ah. What's the score again? Three nil to me. All right, Marcus. Time to turn the tables. On guard! Ha! 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 Oh! Marcus, are you okay? Oh. Sorry. Take a break? Yeah. <laughs> you seem to have got the hang of it now. Will the enemy champion be okay for tomorrow? <sighs> the enemy champion will be fine. How about your damsel? Sorry? The damsel you have to rescue. Have you found one yet? Yeah, no problem. And she agreed? Oh, uh, well, no, not exactly, but I'm sure it will be no problem. Hey, uh, you know how I have to rescue a damsel in distress? Oh, I've never thought of myself as a damsel, especially in distress. Oh, no, you'd be good at it. Oh, no, that came out wrong. Um, I mean, it's just symbolic, right? And this year, the money goes to the fire brigade. Oh, in that case, I'll be happy to be your damsel. <laughs> Fantastic. There's one thing, though. I'm actually on fire duty tomorrow at midday. Can I be rescued by then? Absolutely. Yeah, I'll defend the town and save you from the dragon all by 12 o'clock. Easy. Daddy? Why are you calling at this hour? Is something wrong? No, no. On the contrary, I just found out some wonderful news. Elaine Parker's in Lower Saxony. Uh, who? Elaine Parker, the travel writer. I'm a regular reader of her blog. Since when do you know anything about blogs? Since I've got lots of time in Australia to waste on the internet. The point is, she has a huge following, especially in America. And she'll be visiting the medieval fair tomorrow. Our medieval fair? Why would she be visiting our medieval fair? Because I posted the details on her blog. You posted on her blog? I told you I'm quite the IT geek these days. But, Daddy, it's just a small town affair for the locals. She'll get bored stiff. Trust me, this is exactly her cup of tea. So make sure you give her the full VIP treatment. Full VIP treatment? But she mustn't know that you know who she is. Or that she's getting special attention. She insists on experiencing things just like a normal person. Uh, must go, darling. But I'll leave this situation in your capable hands. Good luck. Bye. What is it, Sophie? Sorry to interrupt you, Baron. I thought you might like to join me on a practice run of the obstacle course. Why would I do that? You do remember we have our level two certificate test. Of course, but, but, but is practice really necessary? 
The test is tomorrow. Sophie, uh, I'm a lifetime troop leader of the Lower Saxony Baronial Boy Scouts. I mm -hmm. don't like to boast, but I have every batch there is. Overlanding, orienteering, mountaineering. But I understand how your inexperience might be making you nervous. It's not that so much. It's just we do have to pass so we can continue as instructors here. Relax. I'll be there to guide you through every obstacle. We'll breeze through the test. <laughs> Is too good an opportunity to resist. I'll have about 20 of those, thanks, mate. Don't you dare, Ben Hazelton, or I'll take revenge on you for the rest of your life. Oh, come on, Sam, it's for charity. Don't even think about it. <laughs> May I have a turn, please? Yes. <laughs> I'm so sorry, dear. Hey! Oh, oh, oh. Good shot, madam. <laughs> it's such fun. <laughs> Surprising as it is, the fair's turning out to be a lot better than I thought. In fact, it's actually kind of fun. Mind you, I'm glad I'm not spending too much time with Lily. She's seriously stressed about this travel blogger she's supposed to schmooze. Any luck? I'm sorry, no pictures of Elaine Parker anywhere. Why doesn't she put one on her blog? Well, if people recognise her, they'd give her special treatment. She wants to write from the ordinary person's point of view. All right. Daddy said she was big in the US, so listen carefully for anyone with an American accent. Right. Marcus? What's up with the sling? Uh, sorry, Ben. The elbow swelled on my night. I can't even straighten it. Who's going to be the next enemy champion? Oh, we'll get someone from town to send in. Oh, then find him quickly so the challenge can start. If this blogger really is here, we need to give her things to write about. Otherwise, she'll get bored and leave. I can be the enemy champion. You? But you're a... a... Girl? Well, yeah. I mean, no offence, but even though the challenge is symbolic, it's still a bit rough. I think I can look after myself. What if you get hurt? Accidentally, I mean... I... I'll never forgive myself. Honestly, I'll be fine. There, that's got to be her. How can you be sure? Only an American would dress like that. All right, give me five minutes to lay on the charm, and then we can start. Hello. Welcome to Castle von Hasenburg. Are you a waitress? Oh, uh, no, no. I'm Lily von Hasenburg. So pleased to meet you. Baron von Hasenburg is my father. Really? I heard the Baron was a teenager. Ah, I see you're very well informed. The Baron, my father, is away uh, on holiday. And the Baron, my cousin, is standing in for him. How quaint. Do you think you can organize a coffee? What sort of coffee would you like? Soy cappuccino with carob sprinkles. Of course. I'll be right back. And in the meantime, do relax and enjoy. Quickly, Karen, can we make a soy cappuccino with carob sprinkles? What are carob sprinkles? It doesn't matter what they are, just put them on the coffee. I would if I could, but we don't have them. And we don't have soy milk either. Quickly then, take my bike and go into town and get some. What about the other customers? Forget them, go! Your coffee is on its way. So, are you enjoying the fair as much as I am? It's all very old fashioned. <laughs> yes, well, I guess the medieval world is a bit like that. Aha! The town challenge is about to begin. Really? It's a tradition that's been played out over centuries. I'm sure you'll find it as exciting as I do, and I'm very excited. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, nobles and peasants, welcome to the annual Defender of Hasendorf Challenge. <laughs> Stage one, gallantry to fair ladies. Reveal the puddle. Baron. Marvelous, wonderful, how gallant. It gets more gallant every year, you know. Is that all there is? It's only meant to be symbolic. If it were any more symbolic, it would hardly exist. Any sign of my coffee? Oh, I, I do have some tea, dear, if that's any help. Thank you. Tea gives me hives. Poor thing. 
How unfortunate. I'm sorry about that. My father's policy is that the fair must be open to everyone, no matter how unusual. <laughs> That's my father. <laughs> and I hope he's having as much fun as I am right now. Remember, Sophie, worry is the enemy. That and fear. So don't worry and don't fear. <laughs> yes, Baron, I'm trying to relax. It's all in the mind. If you think pressure, you feel pressure. All set to go? Oh, absolutely. We're really looking forward to this. Good. And no uh, fitness problems that I should know about? Fitness problems? <laughs> did I tell you I was a lifetime troop leader of the Lower Saxony Baronial Boy Scouts? Yes, you did, sir. It sounds a wonderful achievement. Now, if you just take your start positions, you have 90 minutes to complete the course. A breeze. <laughs> OK, here we go. Three, two... Seem to be stuck. Can you get your arms out? Not really. Ready, Baron? Perfectly, thank you. <laughs> that obstacle's just not designed well at all. Right, Baron. On what, Sophie? Clock is ticking. You're going to love our jousting contest. It's always a big hit with foreign tourists. I hope it's better than this coffee. Defender of the town, are you ready to undertake the second stage of the challenge and do battle with the enemy champion? I am ready. Enemy champion, are you ready? I am ready. Then let the contest begin. I know it's just symbolic, but it still feels really weird fighting a girl. When the girl is Mia, I'm even more worried. I'll have to go easy. I'd hate to hurt her. Ha! 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 Well done. Ha. Impressive, isn't it? I thought ha. there'd be real horses and real lances. Ha. You know, it's funny you should say that. We're actually ha. planning on returning to real jousting on real horses. You're so on ha. our wavelength. Ha! Ben, step it up a bit. The crowd wants action. OK, then. Ha! No, like this. Ha! Uh -huh. <laughs> you yield, sir? I do, madam. I'm afraid the defender of the town has been defeated. Fortunately, the enemy champion is also from the town, so we're all safe for another year. Isn't it wonderful to see such camaraderie? If you like that sort of thing. Would you like to sample some local produce? A glass of grape juice, maybe? Apple juice? Prune juice? Don't you have better things to do than follow me around? Yes, of course. Oh, won't someone else do a shift in the stocks, please? Sure. No, you can't, because you're about to be rescued. And I can't, because I'm the rescuer. And we need to get changed. Uh, and I'm injured. Sorry. You can still play your end of the dragon, can't you? I should be able to manage that. Uh, which end am I? The rear. I should have guessed. Ah. Baron, do you need some help? Uh, I suffered an, an unexpected cramp as I was crossing. Let me help you. Uh, uh, uh. Can you go on? No question. Just give me a second to catch my breath. We'd better get going, Baron. Time won't wait for us. Lead on! Oh, 
Excuse me, dear. What happens now? Oh, the defender of the town will slay a dragon and rescue a damsel in distress. Marvelous. Help! Help! Oh, help! Will no one rescue me from the evil dragon? Fear not, captive damsel. I, Baron von Hasenberg, will save you. <laughs> Careful, my lord. The dragon approaches. Evil dragon! Royal worst! You soon learn of von Hasenberg never gives in. Come on, Baron. Don't give in. You can do it. You're nearly there. One more go. Here. You can do it. Thank you, Sophie. It's that cramp again. I blame excess salt in the camp food. Are you sure you can continue, Baron? Of course. It'll take a lot more than cramp to stop me. Isn't this fun? Personally, I can think of other words to describe it. Die, dragon! The dragon is slain! You're not leaving yet, are you? You'll miss the best part. Guess it's my lucky day. Sophie, I think there's a small problem. The pulley mechanism is jammed and I can't reach it to get it free. Try shifting your weight around. <laughs> It doesn't work. Cry no longer, fair damsel. The dragon is slain, and you are free. Oh, thank you, brave and noble bearer. Bravo! Was that a heroic rescue, or was that a heroic rescue? I think I'd call it a heroic rescue. Now I better get changed and back to the fire station or my father will shoot me. Oh, hey, listen, at the risk of taking five more seconds, mm -hmm. there's something I would love to show you. Are you sure it'll only be five seconds? Okay, maybe ten, but you'll love it, I know. A very impressive crawl, Sophie, but what's your plan? Here. What do I do with this? Try to free the rope with it. Hopefully it will release the mechanism and you can start rolling again. Excellent idea. Uh, Baron? What is it? Would you mind waiting till I get back down? Otherwise you'll look me to the ground once you're free. Uh, yes. Sorry. Five seconds is really stretching. Perhaps tomorrow? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> We're here. After you, Mayor Damsel. <laughs> what do you think? It's beautiful. It was worn by the Baroness Beatrice thousands of years ago. Thousands? Well, a while ago. Here, hold it up to size. I thought uh, maybe you could wear it to the medieval feast on Saturday night. Could I? Well, I am the Baron. What was that? The lock's jammed. Now what? Scout training. You never lose it, you know. We've hardly any time left. Then let's get moving. <laughs> what can we do? I'll call Marcus to organize some guys. They might have to break the door down. So much for my fire practice. I just hope there isn't a real emergency today. Actually, there is. What? Uh, you might not have to miss your practice session after all. Wow. 
Oh, very clever. Mixing the old with the new. I wonder what exciting thing happens next. I wish I knew. Marcus, Sam, why is the fire brigade here? It can all be summed up in one word. Ben. I should have guessed. You needed considerable assistance, Baron. Are you sure physical instruction is really the job for you? Well, I... I, I must explain something. The Baron pretended to have trouble with the obstacle course in order to push me to my limits. He was just challenging me. Isn't that so, Baron? Oh, yes. That's it exactly, Sophie. <laughs> you did exceptionally well. <laughs> she did exceptionally well. That was very generous of you, Baron. The Baron is generous, to a fault. Congratulations, Daddy. It sounds like a very hard test. It was. Uh, naturally, I passed with flying colors. As for Sophie, oh, I'm afraid her inexperience showed. But she scraped through, so it's all good. I'm very proud of you, Daddy. Thank you, sweetheart. And thank you for taking care of Elaine Parker today. Look, I did try my best with her, honestly. And a wonderful job you did, too. I've just finished reading a block. It's brilliant. It is? She loved the fair and the castle. And as for using the fire brigade to rescue Ben and Mia, she calls that a postmodern medieval triumph. Elaine Parker wrote that. And a whole lot more besides. I'm very proud of you, Lily. I have no idea how I did it. I'll never understand Americans. American? Elaine's not American. What? But you said... Her blog is popular in America, but she herself is English. Didn't I say that? No, Daddy, you didn't say that. Oh, well, small detail. And before I forget, tell Ben and Sam to have a look. Their picture looks great. What picture? The one on the block. It looks like Elaine took a real shine to them. So, in the end, we snatched victory from the jaws of defeat. How did we do it? OK, come on, smile. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, wonderful. The oh, look at the time. I have to leave. Thank you for a wonderful day. Bye, dears. Bye. 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 No idea. <laughs> if you have any thoughts yourself, feel free to let me know.